Question 2, part B. How many unique pieces of information, i.e. combinations, can be represented using four bits? That's four light switches, right? So one, two, three, four. And this is just counting in binary, right? I'm not going to do it like this, but like let's just say there was zero, 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 all off. Okay, and then I'm not going to do zeros the whole time, but let's just say I turn this one on. The rest are zero. Then I turn this one on and this one off and all the rest is zero. And then I turn, you know, you can see what I'm doing here. Look, and I, this is counting kind of binary. One, one zero is binary for two. One one is and dot, 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 dot. And eventually what I'll get down to is um, one, 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 one. Sorry, the Microsoft just crashed there. One, 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 one. They're all on. Okay. And that in binary... One 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 is um, that that's fifteen. Wait, was the answer not sixteen? Ah, yes, because we have to add on the off state, which is the final one, the final switch there. All right, so that's kind of the logic behind how it works, but you can't be doing like to to, to do that. You'd write sixteen lines. It's not feasible, really. Um, given that this is a very classic computer science question, um, I think the thing to do is just to learn off the marking scheme. <laughs> it's two to the power of how many switches there are, right? And then you go log to go backwards. So um, let's do this. Uh, let's say the question was two light switches, right? Or two bits, right? So the question would be how many unique pieces of information can be represented using two bits? And what you would go is you go 2 to the power of that's 2, which is 4. Right, that would be the answer there. In this case, it's 2 to the power of, they said, 4 possible bits. So we'll just say 4, which is 16. Right, and if they asked, you can see where we're going here. If they had, what if they had like 10 light switches? I'm guessing it's going to be a huge number. Uh, 2 to the power of 10 light switches. 1,024. Okay, there you go. Um, right, now how do I go backwards? Um, because the, the second one here is wh how many, what's the minimum number of bits? I said, how many light switches do I need to represent eight uh, unique pieces of information? Uh, well, um, you just go to your calculator and you do the opposite to the two to the power of, which is log two, you know? So um, they, they asked for eight, right? So what, you actually start this off slightly backwards. You you just type in the number eight. Then you need to go into like second function here. Uh, so it's not log, it's log two. And the answer there is three. An absolute classic way of asking this exact same question with a slight twist. And you should have seen this before, before you try doing an exam because it can catch out. On a cake, if they have a binary cake, it's kind of like a joke, you know, like how many candles would you need? If you were to have like a binary, like what would that, let's say you had like one, two, three. Okay. So what would that represent in binary? Uh, if the rule was that the candle lit was on and the candle not lit was off, as in like this was one and this was zero. Um, so this would be lit one, one, one. Okay. So that is seven. Okay. That would do for a seven year old. Three lit candles, okay? And let's say you want to do, um, and what would this be if the second one was not lit? So then write that down. So that's a one, a zero, and a one. Okay, so what's that? Um, well, one, zero, zero, I know is four. So this is one over that. It's five. Um, how do I know that? Because remember, anything zero, 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 one, zero, 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 below zeros is either four, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, blah, blah, blah. It's just pairs of two. And everything all ones is just one before that. So those numbers I just said, two, four, six, eight, you do we appreciate. Just go down one. What's one below 16? It's 15, all ones. All right, so that's how, I, that's, that's a good trick to have in your head. Um, so what would this be? Yeah, so that, that's a, that would do for a five-year-old. Okay, so if, if if I actually my son's five next year, I'm gonna do this. Give give three candles, blow out the middle one, and say, "There you go, happy birthday! You're five years old." Um, 
So what if, if in an exam question they asked you this? Um, you are 52. Okay, let's say you're 52 off the top of my head. Um, this is good. I'm going to wreck your head with some decimals here. Okay, but this will this will future proof you for any future questions in this because like I've just this is on CAD Academy. It's a bunch of places. Um, so I could see it being asked sometime in the future. Um, if you're 52, how many candles would you need using this kind of logic? Okay, well, um, uh, you just you <laughs> use the old log trick firstly. Okay, so you know that if I if I've forgotten it's either it's either two to the power of the number or it's log of the number. Okay, and generally one of those is completely bonkers. So even if I got this wrong. If I said 2 to the power of 52. Yeah, that doesn't look right. So it's not that one. <laughs> okay, it's 52 log. There we go. So I need 5 and a bit candles. Okay, you can't have 5.7 candles on a cake. And you definitely can't write down as the answer in the exam 5.7 candles. Uh, that's almost but not right. Um, it's either 6 candles or 5 candles. You know, it, that, it, clearly it's one of those, right? Um, but there's actually a huge margin in between those because you think of it, five candles all lit, according to this system here, would be one, two, three, four, five, which is, in binary, that's 31. Yeah? You know, because it's... Uh, and, then, and then six candles, one, two, three, four, five, six, is just below 64, 63. Right, so it's somewhere in between there. You see, there's a lot you can do in between those two. Okay, so the question is how many you would need. You would need more than this. So this is no, no good. All right, so you can't say 5.7 because that was 5 there and that just didn't do it. So you would need at least 6 candles. Not of which all would be lit, you know. Um, if you want to know how much, uh, how much are lit, um, you just convert uh, the number 52 into binary, you know? Um, so, and in fact, what that is in binary, and I'm not going to do this because the video has got off the rails and as long as, long as it is. Um, but were you to work out what 52 is in binary, uh, you would go 110100. You know what? That might have just been the easier way of doing this whole problem is firstly convert into binary. And then just count out how many candles that is. You know? One, two, three, four, five, six candles. Well, that was a much easier way of doing <laughs> this, this one. Do that.